yes, yes, yes. Thank you very Ooh. much. How's it been? Rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rather you than me. <laughs> Shall you tell you something? Are you give me right? some, give me some, give me some, give me some. Oh. Richness. This is it, Tom. Thank you for having me. This, this is like out of this world. I can't believe I'm sitting here with you, though. You're out of this world. Who else was I going to get, child? I mean, there's plenty, but I mean, there's only one me, so I mean. And I mean, I, the first time I actually saw you yes. was It's Got Talent, when I was the semi finals. Mm -hmm. You came in and you had this nude, cut out dress, and obviously your signature. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Who is this? I need this person in my life. And I mean, we greeted and I, 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 I was gobsmacked. I was. I literally, I know I came to you because for me it was like, oh my God, drag on mainstream TV. Yes, the children have hope. And I, so when I met you without having watched the show at the time, I was like, oh my goodness, this is epic. That's why I came to you on some child. And it Who was weird because at the, also at the time, I didn't feel like how big of a deal it actually was. I was just there to represent myself. But in essence, looking at it back, you think, but it was actually quite a massive big deal. It really was. And that was the night my week fell off. Child. On national TV. Can I tell you, I laid there for, in my mind, for half an hour contemplating my whole entire existence. Like, <laughs> am I gonna get up? It's national TV. They're gonna, you can't say, excuse me, stop, Child, it's live. No, baby. And I had to get up and continue because that is showbiz. You have to get up and continue. But I mean, that is why we are here. What is, what is in here? What is we made you a tropical uh, butterfly, Ooh, child. I love the butterfly. Um, so, this one, it's, it's, it's um, like you, transforming into a butterfly. A metamorphosis. Yes, you literally were talking about that and I was going to yeah. tell you, do you know why we made the strawberries a rose? Because I'm a rose in a desert. Because I yes. don't, I can grow from nothing. From anything. You see? Child. And that is what you have to have as a mindset that, Wherever you go, there's growth there. And if you don't grow, then what is the point of living? Because but that's what we do every single day. Purpose. Let's grow. But my metamorphosis was actually the beginning of last, this year. Mm -hmm. um, first of Jan, I said, listen, um, I'm going to just reevaluate my life and try and figure out who I am. Because often you just go and you go and you go and you go and you give and you give and you give of yourself mm -hmm. that you give so much that you don't even recognize who you are. And that is where I was. And oftentimes we think self-care, self-love, self-awareness is selfish when it's not. It's you have to look after yourself because this is selfless. just- selfless, it's selfless and it's not. Yeah, this is the only, this is the body that you were given. We are all queens and this, you have, you have reign over this kingdom right here. And if you don't reign with this kingdom properly, and I mean, it's, I'm, I'm grateful that I, I, I got to the point where, of the realization that yeah. you, need, you need to fix it. Rather than me going on an intense downward spiral, mm -hmm. and then other people correct me by saying, listen, this is not how it's supposed to be, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're at Photo Market Workshop. So, like, this exhibition that we're currently in, it's all women, right? It's amazing. I love women. Mm -hmm. I adore women. I hold women on a high standard because, I mean, I came from one. But oftentimes, I can't speak for women's experiences because I am not one. But what I have done is look through the looking glass by being a drag queen and by... I have kind of an, a, a percentage of an idea of what, it's, what it is like mm -hmm. to be a woman because I do drag, because I get object, objectified, I get slurs, I get a, a, a whistle that I get all those things that a woman gets so I can kind of understand yeah. what it feels like to be you in the society. It's crazy. It's so crazy. Beyond, beyond. But we are here to learn, to teach, to educate and just grow. And what would you say you're teaching? I'm teaching you how, who I am. Because that's the only thing I can teach you. Absolutely. That's the only thing I can teach you. I can only teach you my experiences. I can't teach you someone else's experiences because then it comes from 
a narrative that you have given me, then I change that narrative to suit me. And that is wrong. That's not the story. No, no. And that's no. not the chat. So, child, I want to play a game with you. Love games. Love yeah. games. I hope my nails are not getting caught. Have you ever been played? Many a times. I mean, <laughs> like, being, like, in the, no, like, being in the gay community, you get ooh, played child. like it's nothing. You're at the club and you get played, and then you don't even know you're then getting played. Then you walk into the toilet to get I mean, no. happened? Whoa, now I'm single from just one toilet trip? No, 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 no. The thing is this, you have to work <laughs> it out. You have to work it out. If it's good, it's good, because this is it could have been me. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. But I love um, the liberation of you getting to that point of, you know what, I don't give a F. I'm just gonna feel what I'm feeling in this moment mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do it. What happens then if you're the one who walks in on that? Because your partner I, is free. I stand and I watch until I get told you're not supposed to be here. Because... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I am here, I might as well just stand and enjoy it. I'm a, no, I'm a sexual being, I'm a sexual being. Um, I'm sure you are too. Child, I, um, like, I mean, I know this I don't make it on air. I like watching and I like being watched. Yeah! That's my thing. No, I, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy sex in general, so... I know, right? So you're gonna pick a card and then we'll talk about it, child. So the first thing that comes to no mind, limits. that is... that is No limits. Oh, Take child. it. <laughs> yes, child. Okay. Talk to me. Proud. We're privileged to be in South Africa and to have the things that we have, for example, um, the legalization of gay marriage. I can walk down the road and hold my partner's hand and I will get looks, but I won't get judged or ridiculed or go to jail, you know? Where in other countries, especially still in Africa, it's, it's against the law. It's against yeah. the law. So I am privileged, proud of being South African. I know a whole lot of people have fought for me to be in the spot. That I am right now. No, I'm standing on a mountain of people's shoulders, and that for, for the, I'm proud of that, and I'm, I'm privileged for the amount of people that fought for the rights that we have today. I mean, there was apartheid, and then you still have you being gay. I can't fathom having to be at that time and having to go through it. It's such a privilege. It is. It is eternally grateful. That's the thing. Do you notice how on social media they had an uproar about Georgia Smith doing a piano? and it not being produced by a South African producer. But it's like, why are you failing to see opportunity instead of complaining? If you just see yes. from face value, then you have no vision. That's why you like, I think it's like one of those things where like you want opportunity to say, hey, I'm opportunity, get me. No, no, you wanted to, to land here. Wah, yes. wah, 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 I want it now, and this is how it is. No, baby girl, you need to hustle, and that's also why I'm here, because I'm a hustler. I hustle where I can get the gig, where I can show my face, I'm gonna be everywhere I need to be because at the end of the day, I want to be represent, uh, a representative for my community as best as I can be, as professional as I can be mm -hmm. because we have gotten a bad rep for sometimes being unprofessional. Because the new girls that's coming out or the new queens or the new drag queens or the new drag artists that's coming out, they know that this now. Back then, we didn't know this. We would rock up with a, a lipstick and a lash and then thought that was... That was it. <laughs> now the girls are highlighting, contouring, and also, we didn't have YouTube back then. The drag artists that's coming out now, they are privileged. They are privileged. They can literally um, go on their, their laptop and click, I want a wig now, or go to a website and click it tomorrow, it's at the doorstep. Where we had to make do with what we had, go to Chinatown, get a shake and go, put it on your head, and call it a day. But that is the beauty of you, of the metamorphosis of you creating something that was a worm into something that can be a butterfly, you know? Have you ever dated someone who met on you in drag? Well, my partner actually met me in drag. Is it? <laughs> Did they know you prior to that, though? Huh? Did they know you prior to drag? No, we've seen each other. Mm -hmm. We've seen each other, but then he saw me doing drag, because he also didn't. He hasn't seen the type of drag that I do. Okay. Um, so he was quite amazed by the character, but then he met me out of the character, and then it was like, okay, fine. Oh. And that is kind of where it all started. So it was kind of him meeting me first in drag, mm -hmm. then we kind of linked after the fact. 
even with, with my family as well, I came out when I was 21, mm -hmm. and um, it was like, we knew, but we don't agree, so <laughs> stay if you're comfy, baby girl. Stay if you're comfy. Yeah. And drag actually brought me back to my family because I was estranged from my family for like two, three years. And when they actually found out I was doing drag, that is when we came actually back together. And they, like, they're my biggest supporters now. Like, they were exposed to one type of queer person. Okay. And that is what they associated me becoming. Mm -hmm. So I had to show them that I'm not that type of queer person. Because we are promiscuous, we will give you a job for 200 rand or 10 rand. Child. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I had to- You take drugs. Yeah, yeah, party till like that. Like, which, you, yeah, yeah. That's a personality thing. But it was, it was quite a process. And I mean, they, we still have conversations still this day in order for me to make them understand. Because sometimes they say things that I'm like, where they feel, they feel like it's fine to say it next to you because doesn't mean they're homophobic. Yeah, yes, and it's yeah. like... Because I have a gay son doesn't mean I'm homophobic. No, baby girl. No, you know, I'm, I'm still going to teach you because yes. I don't want you to go out there and say those things and then my name gets thrown into it because it's Mandela's mother. <laughs> Who is my last, my last, my last, my last? Oh, I want to go that side. Good job. Sing it to me. I child. never thought I'd. I never thought that I would be here. Like where I am, physically, mentally, professionally, I never thought I would be here. Because of how bad it was. Um, and also from where I come from, you always have that mindset of I, am, I will never get somewhere. I am not going to accomplish anything because you allow your background to hinder your future. Mm -hmm. And I had to completely break that because you can't hold yourself back. You need to hold yourself accountable for mm -hmm. where you go and your future. You can't let this one and that one um, determine Child, your future. No. Limbo. no, no. But and how did you get into that? How did you get into believing your, in your power? Was, do you know what I mean? Like, how did you get to that point I where you like... was violent. I was extremely violent. I um, hurt a lot of people around me. Um, physically, mentally, emotionally, I, I was just a wreck. And I couldn't fathom hurting another person. Not to the point where the person didn't even want to be around me. And that was heartbreaking for me. And it was my inner circle, it wasn't even the outside, because the outside world saw a facade, a character. And you can maintain that. Yeah. I realized the hurt that I, I caused people, um, and I need to know that I need to apologize for the hurt that I've caused in order for me as a person to move forward. And I could never move forward because I never apologized to those people until I did. And that was kind of like the, the weight of the world of your shoulders because now you realize, but now I can navigate my life better yeah. so that I know I need to treat you as you want to treat me. Metamorphosis! Are you in the house? We got Manila Panties. Yali! And I'm me to drink. Yes, child, yes! This is metamorphosis. Hi, babe. So what's your pronouns? You can't speak. So it's they, hey, shay, yeah. kule. <laughs> yeah, yeah! <laughs> 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 Let me talk real quick. Okay, so school one. Yeah. So okay. pick what? It's wild AF. Oh, yeah. oh it's wild AF. That's fun. But yeah, you're about to find out. Constructively criticize a peer. Are you my peer? Um, I am up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, yes. Oh, and if you want to appear, we can appear. Um, don't let the inner saboteur get to you. Because it's so easy for you to doubt yourself. When it's, it's easier to counteract that doubt into being 
strong in your talent. Because we forget that we are who we are because of who we are. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we forget that. Mm -hmm. So I would always say, don't let your inner saboteur get to you. Because I was also there. You get to a, a gig and then I can't do this, I can't do this, I'm, I'm out of my league. Same thing. I could have been exactly the same today. Like, bitch. You know, that time I was just like, I need to dress up for Manila though. Yeah, but I mean, it's like pulling yourself towards yourself all the time and saying, trust who you are. Mm -hmm. Trust your talent. Trust your craft. Because only you will. Only you will. And only you can step into it. Because other people will tell you, you won't listen. Oh, they will tell you. No, that. no. People will gaslight you all they want. Child, it's but a it hit! Yes, in yes, house. no. Don't let um, your inner demons um, defeat who you are and um, not letting you succeed. Is there a specific person you, would, you think actually needs to hear this from you because you see potential in them? All of them. All of the Cape Town scene. The, the Cape Town scene. I think we, we have the biggest drag. Yeah. Fa like base. In South in, Africa. In, yeah, in Cape Town. And most of the time, the girls get in their head. They get in their head. They forgot how talented we are as queer people. They forgot how we were blessed with more than anyone else because of how creative we are, because of our thought process, yes. because of the struggles that we had to endure to get to this point. So why would you doubt yourself? Why? That is you mm -hmm. doing it to you. Don't. Isn't it tricky how you doubt yourself in your one channel that made you feel like yourself? Because also Manila helped me be who I am. Because also, Back then, I was trying to create a character when I'm doing interviews, and I never liked to look at myself back then. Yeah. Because it wasn't who I am. When I split the, the, the ocean open to get to the realization of you can be who you are, but use the face of Manila to be relatable. Like two oceans marathon, child. I'm running with myself, but I'm splitting two. Yeah, yeah. There's two facets to yourself. And Kate Not just two, Manila, though. There's so many facet facets to you, and it's a privilege for you to be able to actually express all of these things. Yeah, I'm a designer. I'm a performer. I'm, I do my own hair. I do my own makeup. I do... I, this, this whole thing is a, a head to toe Manila Von project. You're inspiration? Yeah. But, and I always, always say, Manila is kind of Vion's muse. So I use Manila as an outlet to express myself more so than what Vion can. Yeah. Because I never had the opportunity to speak and speak about who I am and where I come from because I wasn't comfortable in who I am. I'm, and now I am because I know who I am now. Um, it took me a long time. Yeah. But I mean, that's everyone's process. Literally, if... You're even fortunate enough to be able to wake up and say, this is what I need to yeah, fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, waking up and telling yourself, you're a bad bitch. continue being a bad Because no one else is going to tell you a bad Child, ain't no dog barking at a stuck car. No, yes, no. Yes, keep it moving and then they come yeah. and join and make it bigger. Keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. One more car. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But now, wait, I was that side, that side. Let me grab with that side. Literally, yeah. you can... It doesn't matter. You need to but give me... Like, like give, give me options. options. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give me this one. Take it, child. <laughs> and we got Newcastle. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> what did you say? Wait, wait, wait. Do your best Scottish accent. You know, I've, I've, never, I've, I've left the country <laughs> probably like <laughs> once. <laughs> uh -huh. Television yeah. Style. You know, I'll be like, um, sometimes I'll be trying to do the London one and they'll be like, oh no, it sounds no, like I, Scottish. Oh, 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 I'm just like, oh, oh, I, I, I guess it's a common off, see? I, I want to, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, it's I cannot, I cannot. Okay, try again, try again, try again, try again. I, I would like a glass of water. No. I would like... No. 
I've always tried to do accents, but I cannot get myself because that's also why I just said, you know what? You can't create <laughs> a, 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 a voice for Manila. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I tried, but it always comes out as myself. And I cannot. Let me try, so, let me try. Yeah, 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 if, yeah. If, if, if I had to mark for you, let's call me the accent translator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what do you want me to say to this boy? Your package mm -hmm. is protruding mm -hmm. from your lower regions mm -hmm. to my facial region. <laughs> your package is on your lower region. For my face, and for I want my, for I want, my face. I want to eat it. I want to eat it. I, can I eat it? Can I eat your balls? Can I eat your balls? <laughs> <laughs> can I just suck on your balls? Pet with them a little bit. Just pet with them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I pull <laughs> for a chocolate for you, big I big You need are they chocolate or are they vanilla? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That, you got the chocolate and vanilla, but then you got a vanilla. You need because at the end of a dog, <laughs> I can't. It's so <laughs> You know? I know, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get you see, laid for yeah. a night, though. If I just did, they don't pay attention. I just like, oh, vanilla, we'll have to check all your balls. And, and, and no, 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 I just, I just do this. <laughs> and he knows I'm about language to. Language is spoken. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the body language. It's the body language. It's the universal I talk. language. I can get talk. Yeah, if I but do this. Okay. Ah, You're like, you, you know, know where I'm at. You know. It's red. It's game time. This is, this is the game time. I'm a cocktail bitch. But I mean, you already look like a cocktail. Like a lemon. Yes, I'm sipping like, my f***er, like, yeah. <laughs> you look like a cocktail, though. Like a lemon drop of vodka. And then I'm say I'm sour. Yeah, with a <laughs> lovely teal umbrella. It's just central pay. It's just. You're like green for growth. And you're like, well, if you come near me, you'll grow. <laughs> also green for growth. Uh, that child, I'm in the grass. I'm in, gra I'm in grass shoots. Like. And also, cut your grass because there might be snakes in the camp. Let me tell you something. I never voted for Bush. <laughs> Actually, I'm curious about this one. So, because uh -huh. you work with Siv, I love Siv. Uh -huh. And Siv is in the drag vibes uh -huh. now, and it's with Manila, right? Uh -huh. And it's already opening a lot of conversations. Yes. And now I saw what Twitter did and made it, made it what it was. So, with regards to you, the person, the, the direct source of Savannah, with all that bull that's happening, I what, said what, it, I, what are you coming I with? I said it earlier. If you are only seeing just still here, you have no vision. Mm -hmm. when, we, when we sat down and we, we spoke, and me and Sif, and also my management team, I saw more of a love and appreciation and an adornness to the art form of drag that I don't even see in my own community. Got That's you. where I was like, why is this man, cis heterosexual man, have more belief in me than I have in me and my community? Sorry, not even to even cut at you. I needed to explain what cis is. Cis is, is what you were born with. Yeah, you were born a woman, so you are cis female. I'm a cis male, I was born male. Um, but obviously that change if you want it to change, because obviously if you don't identify with the body you were given, then you change that. And Got you, so cyst is the biological, what you were yes, born with. Yes, yes, yes. Got you. Um, and it hurt me so much because it came from my own community. The one I represent, the one I always want to push for, the one I will literally lay my life on the line for. Because yeah. when I was going through the Instagram talent situation, I felt like I had no one because I was away from my support structure. I was in a ro hotel room away from my support. I was, and my community had my back so that I was like, I will do exactly the same that you did for me, that I will constantly do for you. And still to this day, even the people that had horrible things to say to me on Twitter or about me or about Sif or whatever, mm -hmm. I will still rip for him. I will still rip for him. Because why? You are still my sister. You are still my brother, and I will still do it till the death of me. I will still do it. And the thing is, this, Siv lost a lot of 
money or gigs because of his affiliation with drag. Why would someone, and also, people thought that he gained money from, from drag. He didn't. He was already affiliated with Adidas before Savannah. Yeah. So when Savannah popped out, they were like, can we send something for Savannah? And yeah. we did a photo shoot for him, for his social media, and he happened to have this, the, the, the Ivy Park stuff with, and he posted it. It wasn't an ad. He didn't get paid for it. It was out of his own pocket. No, he pays me. People are waiting for him to say, I didn't get paid for it, so please No, me. he should not be saying he's, he's it. He's not supposed to be no. saying it. He doesn't have to say that. And also, I get why they're upset, because I was there. I was with him. What would it have changed if they sent me a swimsuit to be a part of the photo shoot that he did? It would have been a different narrative. You know? Yeah. But I don't have the following that Sav has. I don't have the reach that Sav has. Obviously, they're going to send it to him, not me. Just because I'm queer, just because I'm a drag queen, yes. I can't expect things to fall on my lap just because of who I am. It doesn't work like that. Thank Unfortunately, you. Unfortunately, companies look at numbers. And, and, and it's, it needs to benefit them, too. Do they think that they know everything? Especially the. Ooh, I can't. Exactly. So it's like, wait, I, I, I can't do a throat. I can't, I can't, I can't. And I now can't. all the other ones are saying, this is a sellout, this is what. Wait, first of all, who has made it a big highlight for you to even talk about it? Can we just. When are we going to grow? Can we just sit here and realize the conversations that has happened because of jumping drag? Thanks. You don't question yourself why you're asking these questions. You don't question why it's being highlighted now. Instead, you're complaining about not being paid. Please trust me, every musician that is not booked right now is complaining about having the same go, freaking go, lineup. Go. So it's a part of where you're at at some point, but when is it going to be highlighted and who is going to do that? Because if you don't have opportunity as the main one within the community, are you never going to look for someone outside to help make it bigger? But if you look for negative, you're going to find a child. I will not associate myself with something that is not going to benefit the whole community. Thank you. And when and you, you and, child, and I'm speaking this, and you should you know this. I get so angry because I, I get so angry because I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like. So why would I want to put myself in that situation where I, no one gets the opportunity that I, that I no. So you See, rather want me to sit at home and not make any money? Oh, so then being real is being poor child? No. What? How am I getting my costumes done? Because curtains are running out. Baby girl. What's the reality of this? I'm not, I'm not sleeping because the morning light is literally... It's in your face, child! From the moon to the sun. Then you ain't resting because you got to be looking good in your realness and poverty, right? Thank you. Let's play, child. Ooh, you just got me heated, child, <laughs> and heated. No, because I was very I curious can't. about that. And for me, when I've, because I've experienced the whole thing, and I know I'm not ignorant. So when I ask, it's because I can't research this thing, and I'm within. So wait, so this tells me that you choose to be in this position and choose to not educate people. Yes, I understand the frustration that comes with how people have asked. Yes! But at the same time, if you're going to look at everyone that says you're a prostitute on your socials, you're never going to see the ones that say you inspire me because you put your because energy on that. Because the bad always yes. outweighs the good. So... Because you harp on the bad more than you actually uh, celebrate the, the good. And that's also where I am now. If I get somewhere, or if I do something... When? When? And how I get there needs to be celebrated. Because, at the, because we have lost so much where you think I should have celebrated that person in that moment and I didn't. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't. So let's celebrate each other while Manila, we're alive. don't tease. Yeah, because if you're, not gonna, if you're not gonna have that mindset of, I might just change one person's mind, then you're doing it for you and you alone, and that's unfortunately not gonna last long. No, Cause... okay, I, I, I refuse to believe that mm -hmm. because there's this book I read, and that's the book that gave me the power to move to Joburg. It's called The Artist Way, and it teaches you about being selfish because you need to be empowered to empower. And in fact, society will tell you being selfish is a negative word. No, being yeah. selfish is self-empowerment first. 
and therefore you can help the world. So no, be selfish until you're powerful enough to help the world because no one's going to help you if you're selfless and you're, you're splitting your one grain of rice. No, get a bag before you can feed the community. Then being selfish is an actually powerful thing and it's a positive thing. Society makes you feel like it's bad, but being selfish is empowering. Yeah. If I don't feel the music that I perform, how do I... How do you, are you going to make them feel it? Yes! Yeah, you feel it, child. You want to exactly, end. Like how I, I see it is I have a, 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 a great connection with the universe, so I get blessed with an idea yeah. from the universe. And if I can't portray it, to the audience, that's a wasted opportunity in order Wasted opportunity because it's a whole privilege to be on stage, to be able to just get on whole time there. And you're gonna f that up, child. Exactly. This is the best one. So you choose three cards. Mm -hmm. And it give me an entire story. So I need to start from. So I can. I you can, can literally mix it up into cool. your story. Stand, 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 stand. One. Uh huh. Let me shuffle so you feel it's better. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come here with the Thank cheating. Foot, foot nonsense. Come. Take it. There we go. Yours. Can you Ooh, that's steamy. Don't say that. <laughs> then I will really. Oh. Go there. Child, yes. Okay. Let me just. What you got, child? Wait, no. I must flip it and give the card to you to answer. No. So the three cards make a story of what it all is. No, but this card says flip it, pull a card for the host to answer. So give, give it. Child, you never told me about that part. No, no, that's why she's new. And you don't have to know about her. Wait, I'll give you the, 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 the I story. Give it to me. Yeah, okay, I got no okay. limits. Let's go. Okay. No, no, no. I'm going to give you my story because I'm not using her. So what because am that's I for doing? you. So you need to pull a card and you need to explain to me that card. I'm using it as my thought process. So I'm going to give you these two cards and then you pull a card and then you speak on that card. Wait, first, let me give okay, my story okay. first. <laughs> this is so true. I have a cowboy shoes and an ant. Yes, child. Um, I've walked a mile in my shoes. Mm -hmm. But what I've realized is I'm as strong as an ant. And I can carry both my weight. Eight times which, your weight. Eight times my weight. But I mean both my weight as in I can carry myself as well as this character I've created as Manila. And also I have a lot of people around me that also depend on me. So um, I have gained a lot of strength. Oh, is this a, a, a mosquito or an ant? Is that you see? It's a mosquito. Oh, s no, you got bit. It's out. a mosquito, and all I think of when I think of a mosquito is the buzz. And when I think of the buzz, I think of me. I am the buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Come through. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I'm changing it. I am walking <laughs> a mile in my own buzz, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come, I'm grabbing the, 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 the cards. Give me the cards. Give me the cards. You, you <laughs> yes, pull it. Because I need to, I just, I'm, I'm excited okay. the fact that I'm changing the game up. Go. Okay, 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 okay. I'm giving, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm. Oh, is it this way or this way? You're supposed to look at okay, you. Sorry, sorry, yes, sorry. sorry. <laughs> Ooh, okay. And then I choose one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, got, got it. So I'm supposed to choose one and do Yeah, one. yeah, and then you give an explanation of But I need the first one to take over my show, child. No, 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 no. It's fine. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the, the, the gram. Let's go. Let's this go. This nails is from the table, I, I tell Who you. needs to work with such amazing nails? Um, huh. This is like a horseshoe, right? Yeah. I love riding. Yeah, but, but it's also known as... A horseshoe. A lucky charm. Oh, no, child. You know that. Teach me. Yeah. A, a horseshoe is also known as a lucky charm. Oh, my dad's name is Lucky, so I guess it's hey, my father. Hey! Hey! Yes. So we, 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 we covered luck very quick, because then my dad's name is Lucky. I mean, I had a, a, a cowboy shoe in mine. Yeah, we have walking and riding. Child, this was super I, epic. I'm I can't so, stop. So, so, so. But so, so. the time yeah. is a gangster and a gangster. Oh my God, thank you so much for coming. Oh, it's a you pleasure, are uh, the bomb. 
And the next time you must do me in drag, please. No, baby girl, I can see it. I can see what you will yes. look like. I will, I will give you the full on clap. Child, me and you are never gonna stop because the toilet is closing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, I love you. <laughs>